problem number four is exactly same as the second problem the difficulty only comes in the constraint part so in second problem the num1 and num2 can only go up to 10 to the power 5 right but here it can go from uh, 1 to 10 to the power 15 right so the max value is 10 to the power 15 so the brute force solution won't work we'll look at the fourth problem so this fourth problem is a digit dp problem again digit dp uh, i don't know whether you notice or not but in last four or five contest i always see one digit dp problem so yeah uh, let's see uh, how we can solve it so to solve this problem uh, again i am going to explain it through the code itself because i mean personally i feel i mean digit dp is not very straightforward so i mean i i generally feel like explaining through code is easier to understand at least in dp problem so and especially digit dp so yeah let's see what i am doing here <clears throat> so uh, i hope you know what is what is the, what was the problem statement so we had to find out uh, all like the total waviness uh, for all the numbers between num1 to num2 right so num1 to num2 so <clears throat> for so to calculate that i have created a function count function so one thing uh, if you want to find out waviness uh, from uh, the numbers num1 to num2 let's say i created a function count right this count function would tell you uh, let's say you pass x value right count of x so count of x will tell you total number of waviness from integer 1 to x let's say this count function gives you uh, the total waviness from integer 1 to x so to find out the waviness from num1 to num2 we can easily do count num1 to num2 minus count of num1 minus 1 right because to find out uh, so see uh, count of num2 would give you all the uh, like the waviness of number from 1 to num2 num2 and uh, let's say there is somewhere here num1 and if you want to find out uh, the waviness from num1 to num2 we can subtract this part right one from 1 to num1 minus 1 that's why uh, what we can do you can call uh, count of num2 minus count of num1 minus 1 so that will tell you the total waviness from num1 to num2 so yeah i'll explain it in uh, like a step by step <clears throat> so here we understand this count function would give you the waviness from 1 to that whatever number you pass x right so we can easily find out num uh, count of num2 minus count of num1 minus 1 now let's see what this count function does first if your number is 0 itself just return 0 right otherwise uh, this d would tell you this d would tell you the um, decimal representation of the number passed so let's say the number pass is uh, 1543 right? let's say this is the number you pass right so d would store d would be a vector that would store 1 5 4 and 3 right because in digit db like we we want to play with digits right so so it's better to store these all this digit information into some vector so it's a pretty standard implementation uh, while x is not equals to 0 just insert the last digit then divide x by 10 then reverse it right so since we are going from uh, lsb to msb so initially the vector would be stored 3 4 5 1 right so just reverse it reverse it you would get 1 5 4 3 right so reverse of it now in dp problem we know we create a dp say standard uh, top down dp so create a dp then memset dp so initialize with minus one and then call this function right so i hope you understand this part this part now let's see what this solve function does this solve function is uh, very important <clears throat> actually when i was right when i was writing the code i mean it like it took me some time to figure it out uh, e like so easy in every state so I'll explain everything for you. Uh, so this solve function takes couple of arguments. So position, sum, previous to, previous is small n, ng, non-zero. Let's see what this PG, uh, position is. Position is nothing but, so in the example when uh, we had 1, 4, 5, 3, for example, right? So this D would store 1, 4, 5, comma 3, right? So this position is the position, like at which position you are currently. 
द सम हेयर द सम इज नथिंग बट सम इज नथिंग बट काउंट ऑफ ऑल वेवीनेस काउंट ऑफ ऑल वेवीनेस सो फार सो फार सो दिस सम इज नथिंग बट द सम ऑफ आई मीन द काउंट ऑफ ऑल वेवीनेस सो फार प्रीवियस टू एंड प्रीवियस इज नथिंग बट लेट दिस इज माई पोजिशन राइट सो लेट फो दिस इज माई पोजिशन दिस इज माई करेंट पोजिशन प्रीवियस टू एंड प्रीवियस इज नथिंग बट प्रीवियस नंबर लाइक द प्रीवियस डिजिट एंड प्रीवियस ऑफ प्रीवियस डिजिट सो दिस इज पी आर वी टू एंड दिस इज पी आर वी राइट सो प्रीवियस एंड प्रीवियस ऑफ प्रीवियस सो बिकॉज वी नो दैट वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ थ्री नंबर्स एट अ टाइम अदरवाइज वी लाइक वी कैन नॉट मेक अ डिसीजन ऑफ पीक एंड वैली राइट सो टू फाइंड आउट वेदर लाइक द डिजिट is peak or not you must have at least three digit right so that's why i have kept three information position current position previous digit and previous of previous digit is small here now is small will tell you if like whether the digit which we are going to form is small than x or not that's it is smaller than x or not ng will tell you if you have any non zero digit so far like if you have any non zero digit so far that's it so uh, this is all about the uh, arguments so these many arguments would be required in order to solve this problem now let's see what i'm doing here so if your current position is d dot 5 so we know that this uh, d dot 5 is nothing but so for example 1 4 5 3 here uh, d dot 5 is 4 right so if your uh, current position is already equals to 4 then just return it right like return the sum because we know that the the position is going to be from 0 to Uh, n minus one, right? So zero to three because it's a zero wave index. So if your current position is itself is four, means that you have already like uh, so you have already taken care of all the digits from index zero to three, right? So this is that part, uh, and this is the standard implementation. If your DP of position sum um, previous to previous is small ng is not equals to minus one, like so if the digit so if the DP value is already calculated, just return it. Otherwise, let's calculate it, and let's see how we can calculate it. <clears throat> first find out the limit so we know that we are going through each of the position right position from 0 to uh, this number of digits minus 1 let's say m minus 1 right we are going through each of the position so each po so each position uh, we would be keeping some digits right so let's see what is the limit of this digit uh if your digit which you are going to form is already smaller than so means if your digit which you are going to form is already smaller than x then we can keep any of the digit at the current position right so let's take one example let's say in 1 4 3 t uh, 1 4 5 and 3 let's say you have already so you are at position here and you have kept 1 and 3 before see if you have 1 and 3 before of it means that whatever digits which you keep at this position the number is always going to be smaller than this right so in that situation what is the limit limit is 9 we can um, so we can go from 0 to 9 right because we know that the digit is so whatever digit you keep that will all the overall digit is the complete digit is always going to be smaller than x because the previous is already small right if you have keep 3 here the number is always be smaller than x right that's why this is small will help you to figure it out so if your uh, is small then your limit is 9 otherwise the limit is the this 5 otherwise you, let's say you have 1 and 4 right then you have to go from 1 to 4 you cannot keep 6 here because 1 4 and 6 see that is more than x that is not possible so <clears throat> this is my limit now this is my answer now go through all the digits from 0 to limit first check what is the new smaller value right so new small is going to be either you already have a smaller value or if you don't have a smaller value so far let's say this is my current position position right if you already have a smaller value or if you don't have any smaller value what it mean it means that all the digits is exactly same as the original digits right original digit in the present in the x so either you already have a smaller if you don't have just check if your current digit i ith digit is less than 5 or not if the current digit which we are going to uh, uh, keep here is less than 5 means that now it become small right otherwise uh, it won't be small otherwise you keep 5 here then 1 for 5 then 
न्यू स्मॉल इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो राइट सो न्यू स्मॉल इज गोइंग टू बी स्मॉल और आई इज लेस देन डी ऑफ पोजिशन सिमिलरली नॉन जीरो न्यू नॉन जीरो दिस एन मीन्स न्यू वैल्यू राइट न्यू नॉन जीरो इज गोइंग टू बी इधर ऑलरेडी यू हैव नॉन जीरो और योर करेंट आई इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो राइट सो दिस विल गिव यू द नॉन न्यू नॉन जीरो नाउ सिंपल वन इफ कंडीशन लेट्स टेक द एल्स कंडीशन फर्स्ट दैट इज इजी इफ यू हैव आई मीन इफ नो न्यू नॉन जीरो इज जीरो मीन्स दैट ऑल द जीरो आर जीरो इन दैट सिचुएशन just call the function solve function next position sum right so sum is not going to be changed right because you already have 0 0 0 0 everywhere sum previous to previous is small new is small and new non zero everything is going to be same right no change but if your uh, new non zero is positive one right it means that you have at least one non non zero digit so far so in that situation just check uh, if you can Uh, find out uh, whether the current digit is uh, uh, peak peak or valley peak or valley so here what i have done uh, one interesting thing is that to handle the case when we had uh, just one digit right so let's say i have 1 uh, 4 and i am here right if you are here if this is your position if this is your uh, position here you have just two digit right so we cannot handle uh, so we cannot find out peak and valley right because to find out peak and valley you must have at least three digits right to handle this case i have passed 10 and 10 10 10 10 is the kind of i would say uh, non existing number to figure it out if you have at least three digit so if previous two is not equals to 10 and previous is not equals to 10 then only uh, you would be having uh, peak and valley right so if both are because we know that the digits are always going to be from 0 to 9 right so to handle the case when you have um, just two digits then this case won't be handled right so we want to find out peak and valley if you have at least three digits so at least three digit to find out if you have at least three digits your previous and previous of previous should not be 10 if it is not if both are not equals to 10 means that uh, they exist right so there are some values so here uh, just check if your uh, current so this is my position so at this current position i am going to keep i right uh, let me remove it and clear it so at my current position at my current position i i want to keep digit i i know what is my previous digit previous digit is prv what is previous of previous that is nothing but uh, prv2 now to check whether there is a peak or valley we can check if the previous digit is more than uh, previous to and it is also more than uh, the next digit right so if the previous digit is more than its previous digit and it is also more than my current digit then it's a peak so that's what i have checked here if your previous is more than previous to and previous is more than i then it's a case when we have a peak similarly reverse case if the previous is uh, is smaller than i and also is smaller than previous to then it's a valley so this is valley so so i mean just increment your new sum right because we know that this sum is nothing but the count of all waviness right so the count of all peak and valley that's what your sum is so just increment your sum if it's a peak increment uh, this count if it's a valley increment its count and once you calculate this new sum just call the solve function for next position next sum like next position new sum new previous to so one interesting thing is see uh, <clears throat> if you have uh, so at position i at position i right uh, sorry not position i at this position you have digit i this was your previous digit and this was your previous of previous but once you go to next position position plus 1 now uh, this would be your new previous right this would be your new previous and this would be your new prv2 that's why your uh, new prv2 is going to be previous now new previous is going to be i and new sum is already calculated and then call this solve function for position plus 1 new sum new previous 2 new previous and new small and new non zero 
that's it and at the end uh, just uh, uh, do a regular i mean standard dp way dp of uh, return dp of x is equal to answer right so it will first store the answer into the dp value and then it will return the dp value so yeah that's it about this uh, uh, explanation if you have any difficulty or anywhere just write a comment i'll resolve it i know this problem is not i mean that straightforward so just spend some time write this code up by yourself so i would recommend uh, to watch the video as well as parallelly write your code uh, like write the code in your editor then you would understand it better right if you just watch the video i mean you just forget everything so it's better to write the code along with watching the video that would help you to kind of grasp everything in a in a best way yeah that's it about this uh, four problem if you find the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and i have also made it the video of uh, first three problems so you can check it out there also right yeah thanks thanks for watching